bad nicks. More like bad nick. It's just this guy. He's a hog and he likes to throw balls. He's a ball hog. And that's all he does. He just lifts his trousers open and shows his balls. But watch out, because they're painful. He doesn't move. He just jumps on the spot. But he is a pain, so just watch out for him. There are other bandits in this stage, but we've seen them all before. Now, oh, let's start this level. Scrap Brain Zone. The stage consists of acres of industrial superstructures. The ground is encased in soulless concrete and steel, and also has a thousand automated factories belching jet black pollution into the rancid air. As robotic horror crawls metal gangways, it contains many dangerous machines such as saws, flame vents, and disappearing and rotating platforms. Originally, this zone was known as the Clockwork Zone, or the Clock Orc Zone. Not much was different, just really the name. And that's all the beta information I have for you. Right now, anyway, I actually like this stage. It's pretty fun. I love, love the music. I don't like these appearing platforms so they're a pain. But yeah, it's pretty challenging. You cannot really fuck around in this stage because you will die. I've died so many times in this level, but I'm well used to it now. Uh, you got these platforms and these are bastard. If you're not quick enough, they disappear and fall down. You get stuck. Don't fall down there either. So you got cat killers back. You got these tubes everywhere. So that's pretty swift. So you go up here. Push that switch, that platform goes from the top. Now here, if you just run, you can get across, but I fuck it up, panic, because that's a bottomless pit down there, but I managed to save myself. That's so pretty cool. Let's go over here, and then here we go, we've got a ball hog. He throws these balls, and they literally just bounce down the level. Now, you got to go up, so you got to watch out for his balls, like that. And I ran straight to him, face first. Now, going a bit slow, because there's two. Here we go. That's it, done, pretty easy. Got fire everywhere, that's pain. Watch out for that. And that's the end of the first stage. I don't know why I went so slow there. Uh, I've got the Chaos Emeralds, but I'm pretty sure even if you don't, you cannot access any special stages in these last two levels. So if you haven't got all the Chaos Emeralds, you're all fucked. Right, now, Act 2 is inside. It's completely different. And it's got this weird face on the wall. I can see it on the right. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. Now, in the demo at the end of the game, where it shows all the credits, it shows these platforms, and the guy uses it like flawlessly. And I am useless at these. I'll try and show you. Spin around, get speed. Nope, doesn't work. I can never get off those fucking platforms to get up to the top. So I just like, fuck it. Just walk backwards, show off. And I always go this way, because I can't get up the top. Screw that. Watch out for him. Again, fire with those guys combined. If you run into them, it can be a bit of a pain. Now, these tubes used to have a different animation for Sonic as well in the beta when he went through. They used to have like a flat cylinder shape and just speed through, but they obviously removed it. Kind of like a spin dash, to be fair. Oh, that's a bit of foreshadowing for you. Now, check this out. This is pretty uh, slick. Try and get through. Don't quite make it. Oh, that is pretty fucking close. See, nearly ran to that fire. You've got to watch out in this level. You can get screwed over pretty easily. With those zappy things as well. Hate them. They're annoying. Now, see, more saws. I get through this and the other saw. No hassle. Burnt with the fire. Fucking useless. And here as well. I managed to get past this bit like pretty easily. I timed it well. And then this one, I'm like, yeah, do it again. I show off. And then, ah, fall in. I managed to get out. So, it's okay. They're pretty cool. Nice little animated bit. Now, I noticed when I was re-watching this as well, the music is only like a minute and ten second loop. So, you just hear it restart every like minute and ten seconds and it gets a bit annoying. But, I love this stage as well. Level design at its finest, I reckon. In Sonic 1. You've got everything. Everything trying to kill you. Still some speedy sections, some nice platforming bits, but it never feels cheap. It always feels like if you die, it's your own fault because you weren't being cautious enough. See these fuckers return. I hate these guys. See he gets me. What prick. Right. 
coming to the end of the stage. Here you go. It restarted. Told you. It was two, two minutes 20. It's another minute and 10 seconds. Now, you go down on this, so it's pretty easy. Don't have to worry about running into his balls, because he's already fired them, so I don't know why they've put them in these positions. It's really stupid. Just got to go all the way down and watch out for these spiked ball things that I'm ultimately going to run into. There's a lot of up and down vertical action in these stages, which is pretty nice. Nice change. Feels very maze-like. I do like the design of the walls as well, and all the pipes and stuff. It's pretty cool. And I think this is the end of the stage. A couple of traps. Not too hard. And then, boom! Done. Sonic has passed the second act of Scrap Brain Zone. There will be a third act. Let's do that now. See, look, it segues into this next bit. It's pretty cool. Like, oh, this is, this is different. Oh, it's, it's Dr. Robotic. So soon? Really? Oh, you fucking prick. Welcome to the Labyrinth Zone! Yeah, it's just the Labyrinth Zone. Get over it. The Labyrinth Zone was near this place. It's just an underground ruin. That's all it is. But it's fucking hard as shit. Unless you go the way I just went. Where you go down the path instead of across the path. And... I'm going to tell you that. Basically, I die. So, I haven't really got much to say. Because this bit is a pain. That's actually really hard to dodge. But I make it on the edge, so I'm like, oh, okay, maybe, maybe I can still do this, and then, nope, really poor jump. So, I did edit out all my deaths, in case anyone was thinking that. Right, so you jump on the switch, and before it gets to the end, you drop down. Okay, and normally this level's, like, pretty long, but if you go this way, it shortens it to about a minute. So, yeah, again, it's Labyrinth Zone, I've done Labyrinth Zone, it's just purple water, whatever, I'm not really going to talk about that. Um, those spikes will pain in the ass, because obviously one's going fast, one's going slow, but if you time it right, you can get through without getting hit, like that. Ooh, that was close. Now this, this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to kind of roll, you're supposed to roll off, but I stay in the middle, and then that's it, so you get past that. you got to jump, like, as soon as it fires in there, or you'll get hit. Now wait for the fireball, like, just pushing them off for some random reason. Now, you have to jump over that pit, do not fall down there. Borrow bots again. See, it's just Labyrinth Zone. It's really stupid. Right. And then, I would get the air. Like, I'm tempted, and I'm like, oh, wait. I'm not that far down. So you just go up. And then up. And then up. And then up. And then up. And that's the end of the stage. And I'll see you next time for the final zone.